It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. You're live with Expresso. Thank you so much for tuning in. Time to inspire you this morning. Smartphones undoubtedly like an extra limb that keep us attached to the rest of the world. But up until recently, the majority of the smartphones we own and have enjoyed using, of course, made by those big international players. Well, this morning, we have Tulani Kose in studio who is developing South Africa's first locally made smartphone. Tulani, shake my hand. Wade Vinikirk got the same reaction yesterday. <laughs> Tulani, congratulations, first of all. I, I would imagine this has been an arduous labor of love to get to this point, but where did it all begin? Who just sits up one day and says, I'm going to develop my own smartphone? Where did it all begin? Um, it all began um, basically um, back then in 2008 when I developed um, um, an app that was meant for security. Um, but the aim of me developing an app, I just wanted to develop an app, an app where I can enable people with their smartphone, you know, to be protected. So when I developed an app, you know, people from the UK, from the US, they kept on, you know, commenting saying the app is good, the app is good. And I sat down, I said, I have an app that is good, that is out there. What else can I do? to enhance on what I've already have. So basically I said to myself, let me come up with a smartphone. Let me give people security, 99% security. Let me secure their lifestyle. So I'd, you know, when you wake up one, you know, when you wake up, you just wake up. You don't have to worry about people fishing in your phone. You just wake up and you live your life. This is incredible and it's answering a massive need at the moment. I think that is probably the hot word at the moment is security and internet or online security is a massive thing when we take into account how much permission we give people to have access to our lives on our phone. But now, this is just you, Tulani, yeah. up against some of the biggest manufacturers in the world at the moment. Where do we stand in that, that competition? How are you going to compete with the big brands out there? And one of the things that I can tell you is that when we were compared um, in the UK, um, in one article, we became number one in terms of security. That is the first thing. And number two, we had an offer from one of the biggest, um, 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 what do you call it? Um, yeah, cell phones, manufacturers, manufacturers. Yeah. Um, they've offered me $30 million. They said to me, we want to buy you out. And I said, you know what? I don't want it. I want to keep my brand. W was that an instantaneous no, or did you have to think about it for a while? <laughs> uh, I had to think about it for a while, um, because um, looking at it, if I were to take the $30 million, it's going to benefit me. But I want something that is going to benefit Africa. I want something that is yeah. going to benefit yeah, Africa, man. South Africa as well. well. Well, you've taken that ethos a step further, and I'd love for you to quickly talk to me about the South African Young Teen Entrepreneur Foundation. This seems to be one of your pillars, giving back, and in particular to the youth. Yeah, basically, um, um, the reason why I'm, 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 I'm very pa passionate about you know, young people is because it's where I come from. Where I come from, I come from a, a, a family whereby uh, my father and my mother were not there, you know, growing up in the church. So basically, I grew up in the church, um, from the church, finishing up my matric up to my tertiary level, you know. So basically, I want to tell my story to these young, to these young teens, it's telling them, you know what, it's possible, nothing is impossible. I grew up from the church, and I made it, you can also make it. My brother, and I think you have barely begun your journey. Thank you so much for sharing a little bit of your inspirational story. When can we see this on the shelves? Um, it's coming soon. Um, we're launching very soon. Um, I'm very much excited because the Mpumalanga government is also coming on board in order to, for us to create 2,600 jobs. Oh man, I think they can spot a good investment when they see a Tulani Causa. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, we're gonna watch your story incredibly close. Oh, Kat, if that didn't inspire you this morning, maybe a little bit of music. Well, come on.